Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Raka Kwadash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the whole four elect scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just by on back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to get into a quick lesson, uh, you know, speaking on these um, these watchmen for, uh, watchmen for Israel characters, man. Now, in all honesty, when I first got exposed to this word, I used to listen to Adam Abbott. You know, and what attracted me to their teachings was how they would always cut Edomites and the heathen, you know, but over a course of time, a very short period of time, rather, um, it started to lose its savor. You know, just a, sh a short personal testimony. Right. And um, through the spirit and power and mercy, he led me to the school of the prophets, man. Right. To the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where, where I'm constantly being fed. It hasn't lost its savor. You know, there's always something new to learn. You know, the Holy Spirit's constantly moving. You know, and the prophecies are accurate. You know, specifically the Revelations 13 and 16. Okay, going into that grain of rice, the mark of the B-E-A-S-T. A prophecy you don't want to get wrong. Okay, and they called themselves breaking that down yesterday, but all they did, all right, was pinpoint and target the breakdown of the elders and apostles, which is the accurate breakdown. All right. It's that C-H-I-P. All right. It's the size of a grain of rice. That's going to go into your hand or into your forehead. OK, that is the mark of the B-E-A-S-T. And they didn't prove any points. All they did was, uh, you know, honestly, they made themselves look look silly because at the end of the day, the question still remains. All right. What is your what is your perspective on the MOTB? What is it that you can't buy or sell with? It's it's, 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 it's apparently not going to be sent. Okay, it's not it's not sleeping with white woman. It's not an embargo. Okay, it's not um, uh, seizure bourgeois. It's not Christianity. What is it that you can't buy or sell with? I mean, it's apparent that they're pushing out a new digital dollar in the form of this uh, CBDC. And it's, it's information around uh, information going on all over the place, going into how it's going to be this micro CHIP. Okay, so I mean, what else could it be? What else is it? This is the question that remains, you know, you know. But the thing is, it's pride, you know. You you individuals are so proud, you know, and that pride. We know what scriptures say: pride goeth before destruction. The pride of you men, all right. You learned from the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. You've, you've taken um, the, 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 the doctrine that's been being taught by the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. You've taken it and now you're trying to flip it and you're trying to bounce it and you're trying to reinvent the will. You see, what you're doing is you're being disobedient because there's an order to things pursuing the second, uh, first Corinthians 14 and 40. All right. Let all things be done decently in order. And you're and you're you're jumping out of rank. You're coming. You're out of line. You're being disobedient to parents, man. You know, and you're and you're and what you're doing is is deadly, you know, because you're you're scattering the flock. You're scattering the sheep because here it is. You got the sheep that are going to be in a position where when this thing is. When this thing is mandated, this micro CHIP, they're going to be in a situation because of guys like yourself, right? And these other false prophets claiming that it's something else. When this thing gets mandated, you got the sheep that are going to go take it. But we know what scripture says about that. Their blood is going to be on your hands. You see, and your visitations is your visitation is going to be imminent for your evil. You know, so through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashim you know, I just wanted to get into this, this quick lesson. Uh, pretty much pinpointing and targeting those guys over at Wi-Fi, as we call them. All right, these fake prophets, man. And through your pride is what's going to get you destroyed. All right, I want to start here in the book of James chapter 3. Right, in verse... Uh, the book of St. James chapter 3. In verse 16, and it reads, For where envying 
And strife is, right, and envy is what? Jealousy, okay? And it's apparent that you're jealous of the elders and apostles and the, and, and, and the men on down over at the uh, Great Millstone. You see, because you're, you're being, oh, in that other word, strife goes into contentious because you're being contentious. You're being argumentative on this heavy prophecy where it's clear it's that. So it's one of two things, either bought and paid for or you're, or you're being blinded by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You're truly blinded by the fact that this is truly the MOTB. Okay? And, and, you're, and, you're, and that pride, man. Man. That pride. What scriptures say? What's that? First Timothy. Is that First Timothy, the third chapter, I want to say? Three and six, maybe? Going into, going into how being proud, you, can, you fall into the condemnation of the devil. Okay? Which condemnation goes into damnation. You're doomed, man. You're being, you're being, man, you're being led right to the face of that cliff. Right, let's continue on, man. Let's read, this, let's read this from the top. The book of James chapter 3 and verse 16. For where envying and strife is, there is confusion and every evil work. Right, you niggas are sowing confusion. Because here it is, the elders and apostles, the great millstone on down to us like-minded men, through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, are telling the sheep, what this what this MOTB is. It's clear that it's that. All right? It is is there's no other uh form of breakdown you can come up with proving that it's anything else but this device. You see? And that's point blank, period. Because you 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 didn't break that down yesterday. You all you did was come up against what the elders and what the elders and apostles uh through the Holy Spirit have have broken down through uh, Revelation 316 to be. You see? And you're, you're sowing confusion. You're, you're scattering the sheep. And again, Jeremiah, the 23rd chapter, you're going to be visited for your evil. You're going to be beat with many stripes, right? And every evil work, right? This is an evil work, what you niggas are doing, man. This is very evil, you know? Sowing confusion is evil. And ultimately, you're going to have to pay for it. <laughs> you're not going to get away with it. You're not gonna, you're not gonna get away with it, and, you know. And that pride is what's jamming y'all up, you know. You know a little of this, you know a little of that, you know some precepts, you know some breakdowns. And another thing I want to mention, you had mentioned how um uh you you won't see um chip in the Bible or microchip or whatever. You, it, you're, the logic you were using, we like the like the elders were saying, you're not gonna see. Uh, missile in the Bible Right If we use that logic Like the elder said So what are you saying You know the scriptures are full of dark sayings and allegories And, and, and um, uh, Proverbs Come on man So what are you saying It makes no sense What you're saying makes no sense Let's get this real quick Bear with me Bear with me. Let's get this. Right? The book of Galatians. Bear with me. Bear with me. Where's that? I thought that was the third chapter. Galatians. Where's that at? Is that six? Con. It's Galatians chapter six, right? Woo! The Wadi Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Right? The book of Galatians. I mean, this is all through the Spirit, right? The book of Galatians uh, chapter six. In verse, uh, I'll start at verse three, right? For if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. And this is the mind state that Adam Abbott, you and 
your so-called left hand and right hand man and everyone underneath you are in the mindset of. You are deceived. You think you're something when you're really nothing. Like the elder, uh, the above elder, uh, the above elder uh, apostle Gabba said, "You're novices, man. You're novices." And wow, uh, you know. And at the end of the day, you know, you, Daniel twelve and two is gonna rest upon you in the kingdom, man. You're gonna be very ashamed. You're gonna be very ashamed, you know, because your pride is is so thick, you know, sick. It's so thickly uh, laden on you. That you don't even see the deadly mistake that you're making. You don't even see it. <laughs> you don't even see it. Right? Let's get this. Let's get this in First Peter real quick. You know, that pride, you're not doing this for Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. You know, you're not truly doing doing this to, to help uh, uh, build the tabernacle of David. You know, you're not doing this in all truth and sincerity. Scripture says there's those that have uh, uh, snuck in unaware, man. And you may look the part, you may seem wise in the scriptures, but Ezekiel, uh, I believe that's the 14th chapter, goes into if the prophet has spoken a thing. The Lord deceived you, man. You could be being deceived. You see? And not even realizing. You think you got it. You think you got it. And, and by the way your mannerisms are, the way you move, the way you speak, your, by the way you resist the Holy Spirit, you think you got the Holy Spirit on you, but in all honesty, you're resisting the Holy Spirit. You know, because you're resisting the truth. Okay, and the Holy Spirit is the spirit of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right, those that have the Holy Spirit on them truly understand these scriptures and these prophecies uh, more than anything else, man. These prophecies are understood by the true men of the Lord. You understand these prophecies and you it makes sense to you. You know, the book of First Peter, right? Chapter 2 and verse 9, and it reads... Now let me start um Salakia. I don't want that. I want um I want verse six. The book of uh yeah, that's what I want right there. The book of uh first Peter chapter two and verse six and then read, wherefore it is contained in the scripture, right? And it's contained in uh I believe Isaiah the twenty eighth chapter. Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect. Precious, who's this talking about? Yahweh Shai. And he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. And that word confounded goes into confused or perplexed. Those that believe in Yahweh Shai and Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai wholeheartedly, all right, are not going to be confused, all right, when it comes to these prophecies, man, when it comes to these scriptures. It's going to be plain upon tables. You see? It's gonna be plain. As a matter of fact, let me get a quick precept. The back the further just back that up further. Right? That precept be upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little. Right? Through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter three and verse nine, and it reads, They that put their trust in him and who? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Show understand the truth. Okay? You've yet to break down revelation with any form of um uh for lack of better words, uh for for you you haven't broken it down where it makes sense. Where's your breakdown where it makes sense? Because remember you can't buy a cell without this mind. And you mentioned uh that, oh, they don't go into the, the the name of the bees or the number of his name. Are you out of your mind? The hell does an apostle always go into these things? And if you had any form of wisdom on you, you would understand that that mark and having his name on you and his number is all one and the same. If you get that M-A-R-K, you got his name and number on you. Ah, you don't know that? You, don't, you can't get that? You're overthinking it. Because one or two things, you either bought and paid for, or you truly just can't get it sincerely. You just, you just out of there. You're being blinded by the Lord. You're, you're undesirable. You're a reprobate. It's one or two things, man. Right? They that, let's continue. Let's read this from the top. Wisdom of Solomon 3 and verse 9, right? They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him, for grace and mercy is to his saints 
and he hath care for his elect. Okay? Because ultimately the saints are going to be saved. Okay? Which are the Israelites. All of Israel is going to be saved at the end of the day. The saints are the Israelites. All right? Psalms 148, Psalms 50. You know, but the elect, right? He has care for his elect. Because ultimately the elect, right, are going to receive that, 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 the highest act of mercy, the highest form of mercy with being able to escape that second death. All right? Even if it means them being mortared, they're going to escape that second death, which is going to be by fire. Okay, which is where a lot of you niggas are going to end up pushing the wrong doctrine and teaching the Bible wrong and breaking down the scriptures incorrectly. A lot of you are going to find yourself in that position with your family, right? You're going to be through. You're going to be out of there, right? Let's continue on. And this is why, hey, this is your lot. Let's continue on in First Peter, uh, First Peter, uh, the book of First Peter chapter 2. Let's continue on, right? In verse 7, unto you. Therefore, which believe he is precious, right? Only the whole, only the whole four elect are going to believe that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is precious. Yahweh Shai specifically, right? Because we can't get to the Father unless we go to the Son. He's our mediator. He's the only way. We cannot, we have no way of getting back to the Father unless we go through the Yahweh Shai. That's the only way. Behold, Salakia, but unto them which be disobedient, and this is a lot of you niggas out there with garments on talking about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Barak Adam. You know, talking about you, you the men of the Lord, talking about uh, 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 get me uh, um, Malachi 1. You, you niggas are off. You're disobedient. A lot of you are disobedient to who? To your parents, man. You're disobedient to the elders and apostles. You're disobedient to those that taught you this word, all right, that, that gave you the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Barak Adash. See, that exposed you to this word. See, there's an order to the thing, these things, man. Yahweh Bashim Shai didn't come off his throne and tell you things. He dealt through men. And you niggas know this. You see? You're, 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 you're breaking rank. And there's a judgment for that. You see, you're coming up against it. The scripture says, let the elders and apostles be counted worthy. Um, no, let the elders be counted worthy double honors, man. Especially those that labor in this truth. You niggas are going way off, man. And it's clear that the Lord's dealing with these men, man. We're talking about 35, 40 years in the doctrine, bushing, laboring, highways and byways. You niggas out of your mind. Who else is the Lord dealing with on this level? You see, he's only dealing with a specific group of men. Who else is pushing the 12 tribes chart, which is prophetic, pursuing Ezekiel 37? Who else is doing that? Who else has one? See? Anyways, let's continue on. But unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner. And a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word. Y'all stumbling at the word, man. Being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. See, this is your lot. It's your lot to be uh, in this mind state that you're in. All right, to be bucking up, up, to be bucking up against the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, men you learn from. You you teach and copy and them using their mannerisms. It's evident that you learn from them. You know, you niggas are silly. And I can't wait to see that judgment fall upon you, wicked niggas. Man, to be quite frank with you, uh, Lord willing, you repent. You know, if you Lord willing, you repent. But if not, hey, let it be done. You know, let it be done. Right? Let's get, um, let's close out right here. Because the point's made. I want to get this real quick. Because I had mentioned earlier that this is plain. Right? What's that? Is that Sarak 39? This is plain. Let's get this real quick. I believe that's Sarah 39. Khan. The book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as the book of Sarah, chapter 39 and verse 24, and it reads, As his ways are plain unto the holy. What's holy mean? Separate. Specifically the elect, the remnant. See? These things are going to be plain to the elect. Lord willing, we're part of that precious number. 
so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. See what Daniel, that's a, a precept in Daniel 12 goes into that. What many should be purified and made white. Let's close out there. I, I, I thought I was going to close out there. Let's close out here. Hey, it's all through the spirit. Whatever the spirit wants to do. Lord will not close out right here because the point's made, you know? And this is why it's important to continue to go into um, Revelations 13 and 16 constantly, you know? Lord will, and I'm going to go into a lesson on uh, on the micro CHIP this every week, you know? Every single week, go into it. Lord willing. Because it's important to bring it out. Um, what's that? Daniel 12, right? Con, let's close out here. Lord willing, if the Spirit allows. Many shall be purified and made white and tried, man. Who is going to be purified? Those of the elect. Okay? Purified with what? This word. And that white goes into being pure. You see? And at the end of the day, the elect is going to have to be tried. Lord willing, we're part of that precious number. Scripture says, through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom of heaven. All right? It's gonna, there's no way uh, the elect is going to enter into, into the kingdom in, in their lots, you know, in these high rank positions without being scourged on this side, man. You know, low willing with probably that precious number, man. Hey, the whole fully less going to be tried like gold in a furnace. Those impurities are going to have to be burnt off, you know, but it's going to be through this word and through the trials and tribulations that come, you know, but those of the elect, they're going to be able to endure until the end. They're going to strive into the truth until death. There's going to be a certain, there's going to be the spirit of the Lord on them. You know, Lord willing, we are those men, you see, and in and, and those of the uh, remnant, the rest of the remnant, you know, the men, women, and children, you know, those of you that listen and believe in this, and believe in this word, you believe the report, you know, Lord willing, Yahweh Bash and Yahweh shines with you and your families, and you are of that precious number, you know, to take part in that first resurrection. But at the end of the day, right, many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, man. See, those of you wicked niggas are not going to understand. You wicked so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? You so-called leaders of Israel, you so-called men of the Lord that, break, again, breaking down the scriptures wrong, got the prophecies all mixed up, right? You're in the spirit of uh, just cutting Edomites and the heathen, you know, not really trying to build the tabernacle of David, right? You're never going to get this. You're wicked. You're, 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 you're malicious. Scripture says... Uh, a malicious soul, uh, wisdom shall not enter, man. You know? Because again, ultimately, you haven't been chosen. You know? You've been called, hey, maybe to your damnation. Right? Because scripture says, many have been called, but few will be chosen, man. Many are called, but few are chosen. You know, and here it is. You think you're doing the work of ev 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 uh, evangelist, and you're going off, man. You're going off on all levels, man. You should know a man by his fruit. And just because you got 6,000 people watching your, your lessons after you air them, don't mean you the man. Okay? Because remember, Scripture goes into how uh, being a friend of this world, hey, that's enmity towards the Lord. You know, the, the true men of the Lord are not going to be like like that. You know, they're not going to be all popular like that. You ain't going to have 10,000 people watching your view, having 10,000 views. No, man. Hey, some of these lessons may go viral. But at the end of the day, that's not going to be a common thing. You know, that's how you know when niggas are bought and paid for, man. All right. One of many ways you know. You know, matter of fact, let's close out here. I'll close out right here. I must be allowed to get this. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 23, 
in verse 1 and it reads, Woe be, okay, woe means destruction. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. And in, the, and in your fake breakdowns and your fake doctrine and your false, in your false uh, 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 leadership, right? There's how you scatter the Lord's flock, right? And it's a day. Capital offense, you're going to have to pay. Let's read it. Let's continue reading. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, power of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock. How? By your doctrine, your, your, your wayward doctrine, man. Your wayward teachings, right? Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, saith the Lord. Hey, and you know that visitation is going to be by a cruel messenger. So it will behoove you niggas to pray to Yahweh Bashim Shai for the wisdom and knowledge and understanding for him to open up your eyes, man. You know, and the rest of you... uh <laughs> Men, women, and uh, men, women, and children out there lacking the understanding. You better pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahshua to be able to see these things. Because, hey, if you ain't got the Tawa, you're not going to be defended. The Tawa is the uh, mark of exemption. Okay, spoken of in uh, Ezekiel 9. All right, it's the spiritual mark, the mark of exemption. Right, and those, 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 that, are gonna, those that have that mark, that spiritual mark, right, those are the ones that are purified. All right, it made white, right? With this word, man, through this word, you know. So, hey, repent, you know. That, that's the, that's that's the best I can say. <laughs> that's the best advice I can give, rather, you know. Repent if you're in that mind state of coming up against the, the authority that Yahweh Bashim Shai set up, right? You want to buck up against the proper understanding of these scriptures because, hey, if you don't, have, where's your breakdown? Where bring your understanding to the table? Make it make sense. Like the beloved Elder Hawad says, man, make it make sense, Jake. Make it make sense. Make Get the sign going. Make that make sense. All right, break down Revelation uh, 3, uh, 13 and 16. Make it make sense. Otherwise, shut the hell up, stay in the background, and pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai for mercy that you're delivered out of these scourges, man. All praise, honor, and glory. To Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwaf were edified. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Kal Halalim La Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakak, Wadash. Shalom.